Hey guys, today we're diving into the ultimate guide on how to scrape TikTok easily. Whether you're looking to boost your productivity, streamline your workflows, or master the art of AI-driven automations, this video will cover it all. We'll be breaking down every step so you know exactly how to implement this and get results right away. Are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all, thank you for coming back and a big welcome to all of the new subscribers joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jake Dawson, and I'm here to bring you the latest in AI sales automation and workflow hacks in a way that's easy to understand and apply. And as always, remember that everything we cover here, it's to help you succeed. These are not just theories, but actionable strategies that you can use right now. Now, if you're new here or looking for even more ways to level up, don't forget to check out the school community I have linked below. Inside, you'll find exclusive make.com templates, including the one that we're using today, that you can import directly and start using immediately. We've built a whole space for learners and doers just like you, where you can ask questions, get direct help, and connect with like-minded folks ready to take action. And of course, you can always subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified of our bi-weekly videos, live sessions, and more. Let's jump right in. First, Let's talk about Appify. This is where the magic starts. Appify is a web scraping platform that makes it ridiculously easy to grab data from websites, including TikTok. Why would you want to scrape TikTok? Well, maybe you're trying to track trending hashtags to get ahead of your competitors, or maybe you want to analyze your competitors' engagement strategies. Whatever the case, Appify has you covered. It's like having a secret weapon for social media insights. To get started, head over to appify.com. You'll see a big sign up button. Click that. You can create an account using your email or sign in with Google, GitHub, or Microsoft. Once your account is set up, you'll land in the Appify console. This is your command center. Here you can see your dashboard and start building your scraping projects. Next, we need the TikTok data extractor. And this is where things get fun. Inside the Appify console, on the left side of your screen, you'll see a menu. Look at the store option. Think of this like an app store, but instead of games or productivity apps, you'll get powerful scraping tools called actors. Now in the search bar at the top, type TikTok. You should see a few results pop up, but the one you want is called TikTok Data Extractor. It's by Clockworks. It's usually the first result, and you'll see a little robot icon next to it. Click on it, and it will take you to the detailed page for the TikTok Data Extractor. Here you can see an overview of what this actor does, some screenshots of it, and even documentation if you want to get into the nitty gritty. The key thing to note here is that this tool is designed to scrape data from TikTok quickly and efficiently. Now, let's talk about the best part, pricing. The TikTok data extractor costs $4 for every 1,000 results scraped. But here's the good news. If you're new to Appify, they give you $5 in free credits just for signing up. That means you can scrape about 1,200 results for free. And let's be honest, who doesn't love free stuff? If you're just experimenting or doing some initial research, this is more than enough to get started without spending a dime. All right, once you've clicked on the TikTok data extractor and taken in all the details, it's time to go to work. Hit the try for free button, and this will add the actor to your Appify console. You can now see it listed under your Actors tab, ready to be customized and run. Now let's talk about scraping options because this is where the versatility of the TikTok data extractor really shines. This tool gives you several ways to pull data, depending on your goals, that is. First up, you can scrape videos by hashtags. Let's say you're trying to analyze what's trending in the fitness niche. You could input hashtags like hashtag fitness challenge or workout motivation, and scrape every video associated with those hashtags. This is perfect for staying on top of trends or discovering what content is resonating with your audience at the moment. If hashtags aren't your thing, no worries. You can scrape profiles by usernames. Maybe you wanna keep an eye on your competitors or get inspiration from influencers in your industry. Simply input their TikTok username and the data extractor will pull data from their profiles, including their most recent videos, engagement stats, and more. It's like having a backstage pass to their TikTok strategy. 
You can also scrape specific videos by providing their URLs. This is handy if you've come across a particular video that you wanna analyze in detail. Just paste the link into the scraper and it will pull all the relevant data, including comments, likes, even the profile in info of the creator. It's a great way to do deep dives into individual pieces of content. And finally, if you wanna cast a wider net, you can use the keyword search option. Let's say you're in the beauty industry and you want to know what's hot right now. Type in keywords like makeup tutorial or skincare tips, and the scraper will find and pull videos that match those keywords. It's like having a super smart search assistant that does all the heavy lifting for you. Okay, now that you know the scraping options, let's walk through setting up a test run. Let's say you want to scrape videos for the hashtag, hashtag dance challenge. In the TikTok data extractors input configuration, there will be a field labeled hashtag. Type in hashtag dance challenge. Don't forget the hash symbol if you wanna be precise. Once you've done that, double check everything looks good. You can also set a limit on the number of results to scrape like 100 or 500. So you wanna keep things manageable for the test run. When you're ready, click the big run button. This kicks off the scraping process. You'll see a new task pop up under the runs tab, which means the scraper is working its magic. Now this part can take a few minutes. So depending on how much data you're scraping, don't panic if it doesn't finish instantly. Maybe stretch your legs, refill your coffee, or scroll TikTok. That's for research purposes only. Once the run is complete, you should see a bunch of data, including video links, usernames, captions, and even comments. If everything looks good, no weird errors or missing data, congratulations. You've just scraped TikTok like a pro. And here's a little bonus tip. Once you've run the scraper successfully, it automatically saves to your list of actors in the Appify console. This means you can come back and run it again anytime you want without having to set everything up from scratch. Just tweak the input settings if you want to scrape different hashtags, profiles, or keywords. It's like having your own personal TikTok data assistant ready to go 24 seven. Now let's take things up a notch by automating this process with bank.com. This is where the magic of automation comes to life. Imagine scraping TikTok data on autopilot while you're sleeping or sipping your morning coffee. That's the power we're unlocking here. First things first, head over to make.com and log into your account. If you don't have an account yet, go ahead and sign up. The free tier is more than enough to get started with this workflow. Once you're logged in, you'll see your dashboard. Look for the big create a new scenario button and click it. This opens up a fresh blank canvas where we're going to design our automation masterpiece. Now let's kick things off with a repeater module. The repeater module is like hitting the go button for your automation. It tells make.com how many times you want the automation to run. Since we're just setting up for a simple scrape, we only need to run it once for now. Click the little plus icon on the canvas, type repeater in the search bar and select it. A configuration window will pop up. Set the initial value to one and the number of repeats to one. Boom, you've just set up your automation starting point. Next, we need to connect Appify to make.com so it can run the TikTok scraping task. Add another module by clicking the plus icon again and this time search for Appify. From the list, choose Run Actor. This module is going to tell Appify which scraping tool to run and with what settings. But first, we need to link your Appify account. To do that, you'll need your API key. Head back to the Appify console, click on Settings in the left sidebar, and click on API and Integrations. There you'll find your personal API token. Copy that bad boy, head back to make.com, and when the Run Actor module prompts you to connect, paste in the token and click save. Congrats, you've just bridged the gap between make.com and Appify. Now, in the run actor module, you'll see a drop down to select which actor you want to run. Choose TikTok Data Extractor by Clockworks. If you don't see it, make sure you've added it to your Appify account first. This module is now ready to fire up the TikTok scraping tool whenever we run the automation. Time to give Appify some instructions. We need to provide it with the scraping settings, which are in JSON format. Don't worry, you, you don't need to write JSON from scratch. In the Appify console, go to your TikTok data extractor and click the JSON button next to the manual input option. This will generate a JSON configuration based on the scraping options you just set. 
copy the JSON and choose the paste and match style. So you paste the JSON code into the input field in the run actor module in make.com. Click OK to save your settings. Now let's click on run once to make sure it's working, that is. If everything goes smoothly, you should see all the results from the Appify module pop up in the output. Now that we've grabbed all that juicy TikTok data with the Get Dataset Items module, we need to clean it up and structure it so we can feed it right into Google Sheets. Right now, what we're getting is an array of collections filled with everything under the sun, hashtags, authors, videos, music details, and more. It's like opening a bag of Halloween candy and realizing that there's too much random stuff in there. So let's pick out all the good bits and toss the rest aside. We're going to bring in the array aggregator. This module is like a super organized friend who takes all that scattered TikTok data and bundles it neatly and hands it over in one clean array. This way, we can loop through it one piece at a time and feed the best details straight into Google Sheets. Here's how you do it. Click the little plus icon and search for Array Aggregator. Add it right after the Get Dataset Items module. The Array Aggregator will take all the TikTok data you scraped and let us pick exactly what we want to include in a clean, simple structure. When you open the module, make.com will ask you to set it up. Here's what to do. Under Source Module, choose the Get Dataset Items output. This tells the Array Aggregator where to get the data from. Next, it will ask you for the structure of each item. This is where we cherry pick only the details we care about. Type out the following fields and map them to their respective data points. Let me break this down for you so it doesn't feel like magic or gibberish. The video ID grabs the ID of the video, which is like a unique tag for each video. The caption pulls in the text of the TikTok, including hashtags. This is what people see when they scroll through the app. The username gives us the creator's username, so you will know exactly who's behind the content. And the profile URL adds the link to their profile. It's super handy if you want to analyze their content or, you know, check out their work. Next, we're pulling in the engagement metrics. Likes, comments, shares, and views. These numbers are absolute gold for figuring out what's going viral and what's just taking up space. The video link gives us the direct link to the video so you can click on it and watch the magic happen. Then we grab the music name and music author, which tells you the song that's being used in the video. That's important if you're tracking trending sounds or uh, funny viral music clips, for example. Once you've set up the structure and saved the array aggregator, it's going to spit out a beautiful organized array of TikTok data. All the unnecessary clutter will be gone and you'll only have the good stuff that matters. Next, we want to loop through each item in the array we've created so we can add it to Google Sheets. Add an iterator module by clicking the plus icon and searching for iterator. Inside the iterator, make sure to select the output from the array aggregator as the source array. This tells the iterator what it's looping through. Each iteration will represent one TikTok video, their details clean, organized, and ready to be added as a row in your Google Sheet. Once that's done, we're ready to move on. Trust me, when you see all this clean TikTok data flowing row by row into your Google Sheet, you'll feel like you just hacked the system. It's neat, it's fast, and it's so much better than digging through the messy data manually. Plus, now you're the person with the power to make sense of TikTok trends without lifting a finger. Feels good, doesn't it? Now, let's get this data into Google Sheets. Add a Google Sheets module with an add a row action. If you haven't connected to your Google Sheets account yet, you'll be prompted to do so, so just follow the steps to authorize it. Once connected, select the spreadsheet and the specific sheet where you want the data to go. You'll see fields for each column in your sheet. Map the fields from the iterator module to the corresponding columns in your Google Sheet. For example, if you're scraping video URLs, map the URL field to your link column. It's like connecting all the dots. All right, we're ready to test this bad boy. Click the Run Once button in make.com. This will run the entire automation from start to finish. Keep an eye on each module as it runs to make sure there are no errors. When it's done, head over to your Google Sheet and see if the data showed up. If it did, give yourself a pat on the back. You've just automated a TikTok scraper. But why stop there? Let's put this automation on a schedule. In make.com, click on the little scheduling section in the scenario editor. 
This opens the scheduling options. Set how often you want the automation to run, daily, weekly, or even hourly if you're a data junkie. You can also customize the settings in the Run Actor module to scrape different hashtags, profiles, or keywords each time it runs. It's like having a personal assistant that never sleeps. And there you have it. You've taken a manual scraping process and turned it into a fully automated workflow. Now, go enjoy your free time while Make.com and Appify do the heavy lifting for you. If this video helped you out even a little bit, don't be shy. Smash that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you're always in the loop when a new video drops. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on what's coming up next. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, well, Jake, this is awesome, but I need even more automation wizardry in my life, I've got you covered. Check out the link in the description below. It's our school community. It's like Disneyland for automation people like us. You'll find ready-to-go templates, tons of resources, and a whole squad of guys and girls who geek out on turning chaos into smooth workflows. So keep it simple. Work smarter, not harder. Thank you for hanging out with me today, and I'll catch you in the next video.